Hello, my name is John Cummings. I'm the Wikimedian in residence for the Museum I Work Inventors team. Um, I'm going to talk to you about Wikipedia a little bit and open licensing. Um, yeah. So what I do in the museum, I educate people about Wikipedia, uh, teach people how to uh, edit Wikipedia and other Wikimedia projects, um, find, like, experiment with ways that the museum could use open knowledge projects to educate people inside and outside the museum, um, encourage it to open up its contents so it can be used more widely. And I'm, one of the things I'm doing is I'm working on a multilingual, multi-platform guide to the museum using Wikipedia. I'd be very happy to show anybody who'd like to see that. Um, so what is Wikipedia? Um, sorry, I'm just going to do that. Um, so it's a free web-based collaborative multilingual encyclopedia. I think we all, all know that bit. Um, it's also an aggregator for open license resources. And what that means is um, something like NASA, they release all their content in the public domain. Lots of people don't see it on the website. A lot of people do see it on Wikipedia, though. Um, it's peer-reviewed, so everybody reviews each other's work. Um, it keeps every previous version of an article, which is quite an interesting thing to do. It basically means that uh, if someone comes along and vandalizes the article, um, you can just revert it very quickly, but it also shows the progression of the article over the time. Um, it's not a primary source. Everything needs to be referenced. Um, that brings up sort of questions around um, open access journals and things like that for a museum. Um, it's funded by donations and uh, run by a charity called the Wikimedia Foundation. They basically keep the servers on, um, and there's lawyers and stuff. Um, it uses a Creative Commons share-alike license, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a minute. So this is the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, the bottom of my slide's cut off. You can't really see this. Um, basically, they're the ones who keep the servers on. Uh, everything else is done by volunteers. As, an, as a kind of um, comparison, Google employs 53,000 people. I think they're now up to 118. <laughs> So who actually makes Wikipedia? Well, it's kind of editable by everyone, um, and I'm hoping I can encourage you to edit it as well. Um, it's 100,000 regular contributors. That's people from all over the world in lots of different languages. Uh, some languages are very small, like English. Some are very, uh, sorry, some uh, uh, languages are very large, like English. Some are smaller, like Welsh. Welsh is quite an interesting example. But it's the most used Welsh language website. Um, the editors have the control of it. You may remember a couple of years ago, Wikipedia got turned off for a day. That wasn't the foundation deciding. That was the editors having a little vote and then telling the foundation, please turn off, please turn the website off for a day. Um, this is kind of who uh, actually edits Wikipedia. I'm in there somewhere in the top left-hand corner. This is Wikimania, which is a uh, Wikipedia conference that happens every year. Um, this one was in DC. This, uh, sorry, last year was in DC, which is this. This year it's in Hong Kong. Um, if you kind of times this by 200, this is actually who edits Wikipedia. So it's a lot of very keen nerds. Um, so what does Wikimedia do? What are its objectives? Um, I think these kind of things sum, it, sum up the mission of Wikipedia, and I just want to contrast this to the mission of the Natural History Museum. So uh, Jimmy Wales, one of the co-founders of Wikipedia, he said, imagine a world in which every single person on the planet is given free access to some of all human knowledge. That's what we're doing. Uh, obviously, this is a very large um, aim. Um, I think we're having a good go at it. Um, I really love this quote by Clay Shirky. Uh, we've lived in a world where little things can be done for love and big things can be done for money. Now we have Wikipedia. Suddenly, big things can be done for love. I think that really kind of stretches out to a lot of other open knowledge projects as well. Um, I thought it was interesting to contrast these to the kind of objectives of the Natural History Museum. Um, so their, va their vision is to advance the knowledge of the natural world, inspiring better care of our planet. That, that's kind of why I, I applied for this job and I, why I work here, is I want to kind of engender kind of an understanding and an empathy with the natural world. Um, so the mission of the museum is to maintain and develop the collections, use them to promote the discovery, understanding, and responsible use and enjoyment of the natural world. I think Wikipedia can help with that. Um, so this is kind of why I think the museum should care about Wikipedia. Um, its reach is ridiculous. Um, it's the largest encyclopedia ever written, available in 285 languages. Um, some of those languages are very small. I think the Hawaiian Wikipedia is two guys in Hawaii. Um, it's the sixth most visited website. Everything above that is social media and search engines. Um, serves about 500 million people each month. month. 
21 billion page views a month. Uh, that's including 7 billion on the English language Wikipedia. Um, it also includes amazing projects at Wikipedia Zero, which I'll mention on the next slide. Specific to the natural world, I worked this out the other day, 440 million page views a month of species pages on the English language Wikipedia. Um, I guess if you want to tell people about a species or the natural world, this is where most people are looking. Um, as an example, the blue whale article on English language Wikipedia is viewed uh, 1.7 million times a year. It's all available in 76 languages. Um, this is something called Wikipedia Zero. This is my favorite thing about Wikipedia. Um, so not everybody has access to the internet. And in a lot of developing countries, uh, landline infrastructure wasn't uh, installed in a lot of places. And lots of people have leapfrogged to a mobile phone. Uh, they can't afford data charges on their mobile, though. So what Wikipedia Zero is, free access to Wikipedia, free of any data charges. Um, I think it's in 11 countries now. And I think it's about, th it's, last time I checked, it's 330 million people who have access to this. Um, Sugata Mitra uh, watches TED Talk. It's amazing. Um, he's done lots of experiments where he's looked how much people can teach themselves on their own. Um, he took a, a computer into a small village in rural India, um, didn't tell anybody how to use it or what it was. Um, this is where no one could speak English, and all the information was on, on it was in English. Uh, he came back three months later, and they asked for a better mouse and a faster processor. <laughs> um, so ways in which the Natural History Museum and any other organization can kind of engage with Wikipedia, um, share its content is one, it's kind of the main thing really. Um, you've got specialist knowledge and equipment. We saw the amazing kind of images. That thing is amazing and the, 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 the kind of stuff that Gordon's doing with the CT scanner and everybody else who's doing the digitization, this is where a lot of people could see your images. Um, and it's the skills to use the special equi specialist equipment. Obviously, n I don't know anybody who has an um, electron microscope in their house. Um, there's also access to the specimens as well. There's very rare specimens here, and obviously not general public can't come in and digitize this themselves. Um, you can also improve information on Wikipedia. I'd love to teach you how to edit Wikipedia, but I won't focus on this today. Just please come and talk to me. Um, uh, two things that kind of, with that, the museum has that is really special is the specialist knowledge, but also not everybody ha has access to uh, the academic journals. Um, so basically, there's three rules with editing Wikipedia, but I'll go through this later on. Uh, come and talk to me later on. Uh, don't edit an article for the organization you belong to. That's kind of rule number one. Uh, and rule number two is be honest who you are. There's lots of organizations who've tried to go around this. It's very easy to tell who they are, and they always get egg on their faces. Um, so this is the license that Wikipedia uses. Um, you don't have to have the share alike bit at the bottom. So what this does is allows people to share and remix the work that's produced, including making commercial use of the work, as long as there's attribution for the for the person who produced, the, or organization who produced the work. These are kind of the cornerstones of kind of the open knowledge kind of movement. Um, it, everybody, it means everybody can work together, and also everybody can help share each other's information. Um, there's kind of a raft of benefits, really. I won't go into all of them. The main one is that lots and lots of people will see your information um, and reaches people in a lot of languages. Um, one, of the, one of the things about a commercial license is 60% of people in the world don't have access to the internet. Um, most of the reach of those, to reach those people is through commercial means, it's through books and magazines and newspapers. Um, and also people really like you for doing it. We kudos from the, the open knowledge community and wider, um, and it brings in possibilities for other volunteers and, and citizens on its projects. Um, so I'm just going to run through one thing you could do today if the museum was to change its license to something that was compatible with Wikipedia. Um, there's a very easy way to get stuff from Flickr to Wikimedia Commons, which is like the big sort of um, media bucket that Wikipedia uses. Um, so basically, there's an automated or semi-automated tool that you can use to import stuff straight from things like Flickr and YouTube and Vimeo 
straight to Wikimedia Commons, and then Wikipedia editors can then add them to the articles. Um, you have a wonderful example. Um, this is the Coleoptera Flickr account. Uh, I think it's 2,700 images on this. They're all amazing. Um, this is kind of the the quality and the the like level of just it, it's so good. And I really would love you to be able to share this with um, as many people as Wiki, uh, look at Wikipedia. I think that's it. Great. Thank you very much, John.